Welcome back, guys, to the Weeds Closet, and today we're watching My Hero Academia, Season 6, Episode 18. Yes. Easy Gubidoria and Tomona Chigaraki. Yes. Very good episode, bro. Well, last week we had our Oscar winner. Every voice actor was putting in their best performance. Legit. It was such a good episode, man. Uh, like getting that backstory on on the Todoki family. Granted, the episode before had the wrong title. I, I think we both still stand on that because the last one before that was Hellish, Hellish Todoki family, but it was just freaking Hawks. Yeah, for uh, the most part. I think the last episode's title was really good though. Yeah, how, like, the wrong way to put a fire. Yeah, um, I'm kind of remembering now a little bit of what we saw. I uh, kind of want to stay as spoiler free as possible. I'm finding that I really am being surprised by these episodes and. I, I did a I did a oopsie. I didn't get spoiled, but I got spoiled in your definition. I think where you saw an outfit change. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> yeah, Deku had like a green scarf and whatnot. <laughs> no, uh, I saw uh, a little bit of it was like season six part two trailer that Crunchyroll released or whatever. What and the fuck? It, it showed uh, Izuku and maybe. They didn't show him going head to head, but maybe some familiar face rematching with Ooh. with Izuku. I can I can already put the pieces together because you wouldn't be as excited and enough to yeah. mention it. So yeah, that would be cool to see. Actually, I'm actually all down for that. That'd yeah. be great. Yep. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. I I, I want to get into it. All right, guys. Go. Uh uh uh. And on the moment you join our Patreon, you get access to the uncuts of all the different shows that we've done, as well as access to our Discord, where you get to chat with us or amongst yourselves about any games, shows, or movies. If you choose to jump into our Weep Titan tier, you'll have access to our time exclusive shows. These shows will either be ahead or unavailable to watch in our YouTube. Attack on Time used to be there, Jujutsu Kaisen just finished, Mob Cycle is starting, and Invincible has been over there for over a year. And for the Full Metal Weeps, not only do you get shown off here, but you get one week early access to the shows currently on the screen, as well as staying ahead into our Bible Weekly podcast. And you also get to vote and watch our monthly Anka movie. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, and let's start the video. I can feel myself inside of this kid. Mm. Yikes, dude. They need to take that shit off already. He should be already naked in front of these people. I don't know. You, you didn't see the waist below. You saw those two in the back? Yeah. <laughs> They're in timeout. This looks like Naruto characters. Mm -hmm. Banjo? Where's Kazooie? This only happened four months ago? That is wild. This <laughs> seems fucking jack off. <laughs> yep, that's the spider sense guy. ゾクセニーヤケが刺して千人みたいな生活してた変人さ。君は私の長年と親を聞いてるかね。うん。死因は老衰だそうだ。老衰 Okay, that's because... Okay. So it's kind of like the uh, Attack on Titan? I don't know. Mm. Yeah, that's kind of like the Attack on Titan. Yeah, that's kind of like the because they already had their quirk uh, genes, whereas these people don't have a quirk gene. Okay. Jeez. 
I didn't know he was that old. Yeah, he's like close to his 60s, goddamn. Yeah, so he was a whim. Mm -hmm. yeah. Damn, that would have sucked for Meteo, too. <laughs> it would have lasted a couple of years and that's it. Dude, that's crazy. I still think Mirio with one for all would be completely broken. But... Yeah, it would. You have to kill all for one now. If you let me hit in the spiritual realm, perhaps. But you can't see me jerk off. Exactly. Well. That was legit thinking about that. <laughs> like the one thing. It's like, can you not feel like me getting excited over a girl? Come on now. It's like, would Nana Shimura know that I have a boner when I look at her? Like, this is a complicated scenario. Well, they're actually meant to, to join in this side. <笑>失敗し続けた大人が16の子供に負債を押し付けるのは、みっともないことだと分かってる。助けを求めているように見えた人間が救いようのない人間だったとき。殺してでも止めるという覚悟はあるかい。死柄木が己の夢を強く思った時。憎しみのその奥に泣いている子供を感じたんです。たくさんの人を殺した。大好きな人は傷つけた。ボンフォーオールは殺すための力じゃなく、
she'll get something different. Hey, there's space for uh, Chinzo now. <laughs> Man, I love this track. Pretty good. God damn, it just keeps going. This is Return of the King. <laughs> oh, uh, fuck yeah. Where do you think he takes showers? Ooh. Yeah. Final act begins. Well, if I know anything, the final act of the show is very long. Because <laughs> it's still ongoing. I thought you were going to uh, tell us the... Uh, probably uh, final act part one, part one, part one, part one. <laughs> part three. First half of the final <sighs> part of part one. Damn! It really... Man, I wish that... I, I wish I didn't know anything about, like, manga still. Or, like... Because when I was in... Uh, First of all, when I first started watching anime, mm. um, I didn't even know that all anime were based off of manga. So I don't know. It's just like, I know that the manga is still ongoing and it's still way ahead. So I know that we're not reaching the actual final stuff. So I feel like my hype, it's going to be high, but it's not going to be as high if I just knew absolutely nothing about the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In your, in your head, it's like, holy shit, wait, we're reaching the end? Yeah. What? It's like, he's actually like, in episode one, where he's like, I'm going to be the greatest hero. This is the part where he yeah. actually does it. Yeah, yeah. But it's like, it's, it's probably like the beginning of the end. You know? <laughs> like, this whole second arc is just going to lead up to, like, probably the next war that happens in season seven. And then, shit, the manga's still going. So and we'll then the war of season, season nine, you know? Nine. Nine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because they, they go to black and white, so they go to noir. You know, so nine. Uh, noir, okay, yeah. <laughs> That'd be cool. <laughs> it makes sense for now the parents to have shelters because of the fact that now they're definitely going to be heavily targeted if you know if your kid is a hero or a hero student now hawks and and best genius know about all for one yes because he, he pulled them to the side so it's going to be interesting to see and uh i this means as well that the mom needs to learn the truth behind it too because mm -hmm. he's he, is he just gonna disappear and not tell anything to the mom i really doubt it like, you know, he's going to have to come clean and let, him, let her know. It's like, honestly, like, you are in major danger if I stay here. So stay with the families and whatever. Mm -hmm. Keep me safe with them. I hate to say it, but when you cut out the school aspect, that makes it feel, like, super safe. Mm -hmm. Not, like, super safe, but, like, there's always a wall of protection, literally. Yeah. They have a wall. Um, I don't Just, like, that shot in the preview of the next episode where Deku's, like, running by himself and he has, like, the vigilante get up yeah. on. It just it, it does it does kind of give you that like some, there's nothing else protecting me. Yeah, it's he's like full on out there, like totally exposed, and that's what he wants. He wants to be like completely exposed to the enemy to to keep everyone else safe. Yeah. And it's such a contrast to like the Deku where like he wanted, you know, he's all about teamwork and the best strategy. Yeah. And now he just he became the Harry Potter where he's trying to run away every single time that he can. I mean, yeah, for good reason <laughs> to protect. All of his friends. I, I like also seeing the the vestiges. Like, uh, well, I I went into hiding to you know harness my power because I knew it wasn't strong enough. I like I like that little scene. That was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. uh, also, interesting con concept that like somebody with a power cannot hold it for too long because it all of those powers, including his, they start like you know kind of breaking apart the body. Yeah, and it's accelerating a the death. Uh, I guess it's maybe like a cancer type of thing. Where like your body is accustomed to one quirk, and then when when you introduce another one, it's like contrasting and like fighting over your body in a way. Yeah, I could see that. Where like uh probably I mean who's to know? Probably Tomura also has that problem now, uh because of the fact that you know granted like since he has the super regenerating thing, then that kind of contrasts it and fixes mm -hmm. it. But uh like I think the other the other reason why he's able to actually wield all of these is because he's now part noble. noble. Yeah. yeah, that's exactly where my mind was going. But yeah, guys, uh hope you enjoyed. Honestly, like we're enjoying this few new episodes and I'm pretty sure that the next the rest of the arc is gonna be crazy. Yeah. So we'll see Good shit. you Good shit. in the next one. Bye. Hope you guys enjoyed another Weeps Closet reaction. A special thanks to our Patreons. We appreciate your extra support to keep this channel going. Be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to stay up to date with our latest videos.
See you in the next one.